What's going on everybody? It's Patrick from Purple Park Studios and today I'm here with a pretty cool tutorial. Um, I noticed in the comments on a few of my videos people were asking how do you put uh, dialogue into a Blender scene and do that in Blender. So I wanted to make this video today just to show how I made uh, this clip. So let's go ahead and watch the clip and then we'll get into the tutorial. <laughs> Pat, where are we off to? Uh, looks like we're heading to Phantom Power. It's on planet Earth. Hmm. Let's kick some ass. So the first thing to look at is up here. Now I have a folder for, you know, the ship interior, all these gadgets and things like that. And then I have a few folders down here. There's one called IAPs, and if you go in there, it's these two green screen clips. So that's my opening shot. There's no talking in that, but I needed a shot like that just to set the stage for when the dialogue happens. So we can go ahead and turn off that folder and you'll see that now both of the images as planes have disappeared. And that's okay because I have a couple other folders down here with the other clips. So if we turn on this folder here, and I scroll in, you will see that there is a clip of Ronnie there. There might actually be two clips of him. Oh, so the one is hidden. Yep, there was, so. So we'll go ahead and use, so we'll go ahead and use this clip right here. And you can see that the way it's placed, um, it, it doesn't really matter because it's all about the camera angle. So. So when I go ahead and look through the camera here, you'll see that it looks, you know, a lot different. It looks more realistic. And I knew that there was gonna be a lot of, uh, I knew that the background would be mostly blurred out when I was focused on the actors talking. So that's why I was able to get away with minimal detail. If you really were to look, uh, you'll just see it's just a cube with the texture on it where I took the, you know, I moved it around and took the face off of the front. So that's really all it is, and all this fancy stuff in the back is just a, a procedural shader. And then I also did the same thing for myself. And I have a separate camera set up for myself, so that way I didn't have to animate this camera moving around for each clip. I could just render out the footage from this first camera here on myself, and then I could render out the other footage that I needed from this camera angle here, and it just saved time and made things a lot easier. So now you might be wondering, well, that's cool, but how do we get them? How do we get the dialogue? How do we get that lined up? How do we use Blender to have a make a short film or some kind of video where two people are talking in a CGI environment? How do we do that? Well, you could go ahead and hit Shift A, and I believe in here there's a speaker. You could add a speaker and do all this stuff to bring the voice into Blender, but here's the problem with that. We all know that Blender can be a very laggy, especially when it comes to video, like you might see up in the top corner up here, the frame rate slowing down. So if you have audio, you know, and you're trying to watch that audio inside Blender, it's just not very practical because the video is going to be slow, the audio is going to be, it's just going to be a mess. So to better show you what I mean, I'm here in it, up Adobe Premiere Pro. Now, you don't need to use Adobe Premiere Pro, you could use any other you know, software that you would use to line up video clips after you've rendered them out. So I happen to use Adobe Premiere Pro. So after I rendered out my clips from Blender, you know, they didn't have any audio, I dragged them here into Adobe Premiere. I then went into a, I then went into the folder where I had previously rendered my footage with audio from After Effects, and I dragged that clip, since I knew it would be the same length, I dragged that into, into my comp over the respective clips. So for example, in this first clip here, Down here is my original clip. Down here is my clip that I rendered from Blender. It doesn't have any audio. So if I go over here, I simply grab the clip and I would drag it in like this. So what I would do then is just simply delete the video and leave the audio and bam, you have the audio lined right up to each clip. So then I just had to go through and find each clip and just do, use that same process and everything lines up perfectly that way. 
So if you guys found this video helpful, don't forget to leave a comment, a like, and hit subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.